My name is Dan Balkin, and I live in Buffalo, New York. I have the T-Wall 3, and this is, uh, last summer was my second summer with it. Well, strangely, I was in a uh, tire store having my snow tires put on, and he had an old magazine. It was probably four or five years old, and there was an article in there. I, ca I can't remember the, perhaps, men's journal, at any rate, they had an article about the T-Wall in there. It just grabbed my attention. I was fascinated. What I really love about the T-Wall is the versatility of being able to take it virtually almost anywhere. I still sail it quite a bit on Lake Erie. The border's been closed, but when the border to Canada reopens, there's a lot of lake access in Canada. I also sailed on the Buffalo side of Lake Erie. And then the Finger Lakes are not that far away from us. And I just love to go there and sail the boat. It's just beautiful. And I also have the opportunity to sail on Lake Ontario this summer. So, it, to, oh, and uh, we were in Cape Cod for a week and I brought the T-Wall. So it was my first experience sailing in the ocean. I, I felt like Christopher Columbus. So it was really, it was just fabulous. And if I may say, that's the other thing I love about the boat is to take it on vacation. Normally I sail it solo, but for instance, our children are in their early twenties. And uh, when we were in Cape Cod this summer, they joined us on vacation. It was the first time I had gone out with someone else on the boat and I was very pleasantly surprised uh, for a 10 and a half foot boat, the T-Wall 3, how easy it was to put two sailors on it. And um, especially one of the features I really like about the boat is the higher boom. Um, the way the boom is angled, it allows the boom to, to tack and the boom to swivel and swing with, without really any problem at all with two sailors on the boat. So that's typically how I use it though. So I have a station wagon and I normally just put the seats down and put the boat in the back. If I'm going on a trip, I did buy a cargo rack for my roof. And I, if I um, put the hull up there first, and then what I usually do if I'm alone, I just put the pieces bit by bit back on the roof rack with the other bag, you know, the, the rudder, et cetera. And that seems to work out really well. Fantastic, fantastic. I, I could not be more pleased with the boat. I was a uh, laser sailor. And uh, to be honest, I'm not, uh, an ultra serious sailor. I've done a little bit of racing, but my profession was a high school teacher. I had the summers off, so I'm kind of a sail by the seat of my pants sailor. I was able to sail a lot during the summer, but I'm not a well-trained sailor per se. And so that gave me the opportunity to get a, just a good feeling for sailing. And I loved the laser. And I was pleasantly surprised when I got the T-Wall. I, I would say it sails somewhere between a sunfish and a laser. I was really surprised by the performance of it. But the way that that hull really stiffens up at 11 PSI, um, it, it truly feels like just a fantastic sailboat and, and there's plenty of sail there like it's it's exciting to sail in a nice breeze i would say that that just how well it sails also its stability you know the boat is really very very stable um i've taken it out in 15 20 knot winds and as i said i don't pretend to be the greatest sailor in the world, but I really have not had any difficulty with it at all. 
also the fact that uh, you can reef the sail, which I have very rarely done, but that's a wonderful feature that reefable sail is also something that is, is just fabulous with the boat. And when I first got the boat, I was sailing with the sail reefed because I just wanted to get a feel for it. And that also made me feel more comfortable at first, just to feel the characteristics of the boat. And then after that, I've just, I've just let it down and <laughs> let it rip, so. I have a few, probably this summer, being up at Cape Cod uh, with my children, and we rented a beach house. So I was able to leave it. It had a nice place that I could put it behind some shrubbery. So I felt safe with it at night. At any rate, uh, going out with my children and just sailing along in Cape Cod and looking at all the beautiful homes and the beaches and just being out on the ocean, I felt like I was in heaven and my children really, really enjoyed the experience too. They were so happy we brought the boat. But I also just enjoy, in general, to bring it anywhere new. It's always exciting to me. And then just to sail along and look at the beautiful scenery be between the natural scenery and often the beautiful homes on the lakefront, wherever I am. So I enjoy both. I think so. You know, I've been thinking about this. I think that's something that is a, a bucket list item for me. It's, I've been thinking about it. So yes, I think I will. Lake Como in Italy. When I was young, uh, I lived in Europe for roughly five years. As many people know, Europe is just incredibly beautiful places where they have mountain lakes and, and, and the ocean too, but uh, the Adriatic or whatever. But I, I would like to sail on Lake Como. I'd love to sail on the Adriatic. And I'd also like to sail off the European Atlantic Ocean side too, in the Mediterranean. So, I mean, really everywhere. <laughs>